How's it going, guys? It's Yugi by TCG, and we are with day 10 of Yuginess. We have two days left, but today we're opening up a set I have never opened before. Legendary Collection for Joey's World. I've wanted to open one of these so badly for so long. I'm so excited we finally get to open one. I got an insanely good deal on it on Blowout Cards, which no way am I affiliated with them, but I just feel like they have really good... Uh, obviously, if you want to be affiliated, hit me up Blowout Cards if you're watching, but... <laughs> I always get really good deals on their stuff. I got my Samurai Assault box from there. I've gotten a couple other things that you guys haven't seen yet that I'm saving for big milestones for us. But I'm like, I really want to open up this set because I've never opened it before. So I'm really excited. So we're going to take our time. So we got the Blue Flame Swordsman. Um, obviously, it doesn't make sense to open this, but that's what we do on this channel. And obviously, if one of these is very... Like minty, I would probably consider grading some of these just because they'd be so cool. So we got Blue Flame Swordsman, Harpulator Phoenix Formation, Card of Last Will, we got a token, another token, and these are the um, scapegoat tokens. All the colors. And last one. So it's very cool. I do like these. Um, probably make a ton of sense to open it, but I mean, I wanted a Blue Flame Swordsman for a long time. That's finally how we got it. So let's get the mystery packs out of here. Not mystery packs, the mega packs. I've never even seen the board, so I'm gonna try my best to show you guys what it looks like, but obviously we're a little limited on space. God, that side looks awesome. And then we have like the more like the deck artwork one. I'm thinking about framing a bunch of these. I think they would look really, really cool in my office. But let's open up the first Mega packs, we have five of them. So this is not the like, so we did open up a legendary collection Kaiba on the channel. This is much different. Um, they only have one secret. Is it one secret per pack? Man, these are much more difficult to open than I thought they'd be. All right, I think it's one secret rare per pack and then two ultras, I believe, something like that. Maybe it's one ultra. It's very different from Legendary Collection Kaiba, so we've got a Rod Eyes Zombie Dragon. Amazonist Tiger Ultra Rare. Saber Saurus. Look at how great that secret looks, though. Just awesome. Amazonist Paladin. And a Machine King. So, kind of a weak first pack. Amazonist Paladin's pretty cool, even though it's just a super rare. But we still got a, four more packs. I really want to get a Yugi's World one of these days, but the prices are just so crazy on them. I don't know if that'll ever happen. Black Tyranno. Those should come down eventually. Blowback Dragon. Jinzo. Unfortunately, it's only in rares in this set. Gates of the Dark World. In a Dark Hole. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that. Dark Hole's obviously a very good card as well. And Harpy's Hunting Ground. Very, very cool. Oh, Zoa. Metal Zoa's probably in here as well, I'd, I'd imagine. Darkhold, that's probably the best pull we've gotten so far. But it's a little off-centered if we were to grade it. Yeah, because these were just so crazily overpriced that I just never thought I'd get to open one. And then Blowout did a very good sale on these. I think they ended up even raising the price because they actually sold out. I think they got more than they put them back on there, but they were a little more expensive. So I'm glad I got them when I did. Goblin Attack Force. Gravekeeper's Visionary. Trade in. Ultra Rare. Nice. And Foolish Burial. I mean, look at how great these Seeker Rares look. I mean, they just look absolutely insane. And a Harpy Lady too. Very, very cool. Oh, Gatling Dragon. You pulled that in the original set that was from. Flaming Eternity, I believe. We have an Ultra Rare Gatling Dragon. That we have pulled on the channel before. Alright. Hero of the East. Rude Kaiser. Red Eyes Wyvern. Lesser Fiend. Gravekeeper uh, Sato. Man, we're getting all spells. 
gateway to the dark world. And Harpy Lady 1. Man, if we can get Harpy Lady 3, that would be really clutch. In the last pack. Alright. Come on, Joey. We honestly, I don't think we've even pulled any of the good cards yet. So hopefully we can pull something good out of here. I think Red Ice Flare Metal Dragons in here. That would be a really awesome secret to pull. Gear Freed the Iron Knight. Is it really that quick in there? Okay, deal with the Dark Ruler. Red Eyes B Dragon. I like that it's still the original, like Red Eyes B instead. They, now it's Red Eyes Black. It's obviously always been Red Eyes Black, but they just always just did it like that. Solemn Judgment. Nice. So obviously the Sea Rares weren't the greatest, but still very, very cool. And a red eyes bee chick, very nostalgic, super. So we didn't get anything crazy. The red eyes bee dragon, though, very cool. Good to have that out of legendary collection, Joey's world, because um, obviously it's Joey's main boss monster. It's definitely a card we want. Let's go through the hits real quick. Let's get a red eyes black dragon, solemn judgment. Red eyes black chick or red eyes bee chick, Grav gravekeeper stealth. Harpy Lady 1. Fortunately, we didn't get 3. That would have been really cool. Gateway to the Dark World. Harpy Lady 2. Foolish Burial. Trade In. Dark Hole. That's probably my favorite pull of the whole opening. Harpy's Hunting Ground. The Gates of the Dark World. Sabersaurus. Amazonas Paladin. And Amazonas Tiger. So that was, that was very fun. Um, crazy that we actually got to open it. I never thought I'd open up one of those. So was very very cool to get to open it so tomorrow we'll be opening up a magician's force korean so that'll be for day 11 and then day 12 um you have to stay tuned for we're opening up for day 12 and then obviously after day 12 we'll have a um little hiatus and then we'll be back with yugi miss extravaganza on the 26th as a live stream and we'll be opening up every set of 2022 and it won't be just one pack. We open up quite a few, so it should be a lot of fun. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and then stay tuned for more coming soon. Have a nice day.